Now, this is going to be an example of an egg summary speech for a lay judge, okay? And this is assuming you're running the, the self-determination, implicit, explicit motivation, plus uh, discourse, neg case, that argues that standardization is bad because it harms individuation. And that as a general pedagogical force vector, so to speak, a general way of educating, that individuation is a better thriving principle than standardization. All right, so in the summary speech, though, you've already noticed now, you've watched the judge, you've, you're killing them on the flow, you've given a couple answers to everything, you've read a couple cards in the rebuttal speech, and you can, the judge hasn't written anything down, you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. And the judge is, is admiring the eye contact and posture of your opponents. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Anyway, you need to say this. So here's your summary speech. Okay, to begin this speech, the summary speech is summarized around so far, Judge, let's first talk about presentation. It would appear to me that our opponents probably are winning on presentation. What this means, they're making better eye contact, they're having better posture, and additionally, they're probably possibly even speaking more clearly or speaking more loudly, being easier to understand, etc. However, that is where you're going to score the speaker points. That is, if you think we've done a bad job of speaking, I understand, Judge, and you may decide to give us 25 speaker points or something. That would be a very low score on speaks. However, remember that the actual win and loss of the round is nothing to do, has nothing at all to do with the presentational element and on the flow, which is to say in the argumentation of the round, we have won clearly in no uncertain terms, it is impossible to imagine voting for the other team and here's why. We have won the framework. They've either dropped it or haven't responded to it on point or ignored our warrant or whatever they've done, okay? We've won clearly on framework. What this shows you is that we are going to talk about right now, if we can show that individuation in education is better, that means letting everybody do their own thing and having them own, realize their own, um, their own educational goals, their own educational identity, and who they, they're supposed to be according to who they were born as and with their talents and their strengths and their weaknesses, rather than treating them as just another identical lump of meat that you treat the same as you do every other student, okay? Rather than that, we are advocating for individuation. We have shown that individuation is preferable. So as a consequence, Judge, we're going to vote for us in no uncertain terms. Our opponents, having not argued framework, have conceded that point, and they never addressed their explicit or implicit motivation point. What that means, Judge, is that for the purpose of this round, no matter what you think or I think or they think or anyone else thinks, for the purpose of this round and for the purpose of judging this round, in no uncertain terms, we have to accept as fact that standardized testing causes a demotivational effect on students. Now, since I've also already established that they get their impacts, their positive gains they talk about from motivating people, then since we have to accept it as fact for this round, even if I might think it's not true or you might not think it's not true, we still have to accept it as fact, then as a consequence, we have no choice but to vote for the egg on this in this round. And thank you for listening. Okay, you gotta teach them. <laughs>